I'd like to tell a story. It's a strange story. It's one called The Devil Wears a Jaunty Cap. Actually, it's a Spanish story. In Spanish, it's El Diablo del Sombrero de Tres Pecos. See, a fellow wearing a hat like this walked into a hotel and said, hey, would you page Juan Escudero? Well, the desk clerk doesn't do the paging. He called Bellboy. Bellboy came over wearing a square sort of pillbox hat. Walked around saying, Juan Escudero, Juan Escudero. For those who don't know, Juan Escudero is a famous Mexican bullfighter. And a bullfighter has a hat that looks like this. Ole! <laughs> Unfortunately, that afternoon, the bull ring, a bull with a horn made a hole in Juan. Aww. He died, and so did the joke. <laughs> they had a funeral service conducted by the bishop. <laughs> and Juan's army buddies got together and gave him a military funeral. They wore overseas caps like this and fired a salute over his grave. You see, Juan had been a soldier. Well, even as a small boy, he liked to play soldier. As a small boy playing soldier, he had a hat that looked like this. <laughs> if you do not believe the story is true, you may read it in this very newspaper. what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the black and white cane. I'll wrap it in the black and white paper. And if the newspaper's been read, magicians say the cane will turn to red. I used to say, what's black and white and red all over? When I was a boy, they used to say a newspaper. Today's generation has creative answers. They say things like a wounded nun, bloody zebra. <laughs> Bloody zebra, a skunk with a diaper rash. I don't even ask the question anymore. Okay. Black and white cane goes into the black and... Oh, I hope no one here is colorblind. They'll miss this. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll do something entirely different. I'll, 